Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with finding the number of solutions to a system by graphing them. So let's look at the three possible things that could happen. So if I have a system, whoa, that seems really big. So if I have a system, I could have two lines that cross, that would be one solution. If I have two parallel lines, that would be no solution. And if I have lines that are right on top of each other like this, that would be infinite solutions. So one, none, or infinite. Those are the four possibilities while I'm doing these. All right, so let's graph these. These are both in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to start at, let's start at one and go up three. One, two, three, over two. First line. Second line, start at two, go up one over one, that's going to be one solution. Two lines, both in slope intercept form. This one starts at negative five, it goes down two over three. This one starts at negative five and goes down two over three. Hey, look at that. Exact same equation, exact same line, infinite solutions. Right, well, this is the exact same equation, so it's the exact same line twice, but I have to graph it, so y equals 5, and y equals 5. Infinite solutions. All right, this one, it starts at 2, and it's a negative 1 over 1 slope. This guy is y equals 6, and that's going to be one solution, there it is. So you have two lines in slope-intercept form. This one starts at negative 5, goes up 1 over 1. This one starts at 3, and goes up 1 over 1. Notice, they have the exact same slope. If they have the same slope, that means they're either going to be parallel, which is no solution, or coinciding, which means infinite solution. So this was no solution. Now we're getting some interesting ones. So we have some that are in standard form how long did it take me to get there I, so i'm pushing 50 and standard form just showed up so i have a couple options with standard form i can do the, the mini equation method or i can do move the x divide by the y i'm going to do mini equations on this first one so i have x equals negative 5 and 5y equals negative 5. So it's x, x equals negative 5, and y equals negative 1. So there's my first line, x equals negative 5, y equals negative 1. First line. Second line looks like x equals 3, y equals 3. So this is going to be one solution. And I'm going to double check this guy just to make sure. Now let's just do x plus 5y equals negative 5. Move the x, 5y equals negative x minus 5, divide by the y. So y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. Let's see. Down 1. Yep, that's good. So I just confirmed it using two methods, and it has one solution. All right, so this one is in standard form. Once again... I have options. I'm going to go into mini equations, which is going to be x equals 3 and 3y equals 3. So y equals 1. x equals 3. And y equals 1. And this one's in stand or slope intercept, so that's nicer. That starts at 5 and goes down 1 over 3. And those look like parallel lines, which means no solution. Okay, so I have one that's in standard form. So standard form right there. So, so x equals 8, negative 2y equals 8. So y equals negative 4. Can I graph that? x equals 8, y equals negative 4. This one starts at negative 8 
and goes up one over two. It looks like parallel lines, so no solution. All right, both of these are in slope intercept form. That's nice. So start at six, up two over one, start at negative eight, up two over one, no solution. All right, this one, it's in standard form, but x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2. This one's in slope intercept. I'm going to start at 4 and go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Looks like one solution. Sorry, you're incorrect. How did I mess it up? How did I mess it up? What was the equation? What was that purple line? Did I mess it up on the purple line? Uh, it was a positive slope, and I graphed it as a negative slope. Good job, Bar. Well done. Let's keep going. Now, okay, good. We finally got into one that's... Move the X. No, bo this one right here. Okay, that, that yellow one's going to be interesting. This will be my last one, because we finally got interesting. So the first one is 3X equals negative 3, and y equals negative 3. Oh, can't see it. All right, so many equations. So x equals negative 1, and y equals negative 3. I can graph that. x equals negative 1, y equals negative 3. But this yellow one, what happens if I do many equations on that? So 3x equals negative 7. So x equals negative 7 thirds. How are you going to graph on IXL negative 7 thirds? It's, I can't do it. So in order to graph this one, I'm going to have to force it into slope-intercept form using move the x, divide by the y. It's not hard, so give it a try, that one. Okay, so moving my x. So I have y equals negative 3x minus 7. And that is graphable. So I start at negative 7, and I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, and it looks like I have no solution because they are parallel lines. Keep it up. So what was that? I've spent about 12 minutes on this, and I'm up to a 68. So definitely 50 is a reasonable goal for this after 20 minutes. Hey, thanks for watching. Have an enjoyable day.